Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Klaus Pucker Lassen. I'm from Switzerland. I'm going to talk about an agile transformation done with Scrum at FCC, Farm Credit Canada, in Canada, obviously. Farm Credit Canada is a financial institution, an agricultural term lender, as a matter of fact, the biggest in Canada with a portfolio of some 33 billion Canadian dollars. They have over 100,000 customers and close to 2,000 employees. As part of the context also in this uh, here for this case, it's important to understand the prologue. The prologue is important because it's a lever for change. As Archimedes once said, give me a lever long enough and I can single-handedly move the world. The lever in this case was a big waterfall project they came out of. It started in 2005, lasted seven instead of the planned three years, cost accordingly more, and worst of all, the quality of the system that came out of this was horrendous. It left everybody unhappy. The developers were unhappy because they inherited this crap. The business was unhappy, the managers were unhappy, and even the customers of FCC were unhappy because they also suffered under this bad quality. For 15 months, they, IT, the IT department was battling to improve the situation, but finally had to call defeat and said, we can't do it, we need to start over again. Initially with some core parts of the system, rewriting some core parts, and then probably ultimately having to rewrite the whole thing. For that reason, a scrum team was put together to build these new parts. That scrum team uh, created some initial successes, and that led to the IT department having tasted blood, they wanted more of this agility. And the IT department therefore decided we want to change towards an agile organization. They put together a change team. Now the question was, how is that change team going to operate? The classic way to do it would be analyze the situation, make a big plan, and then roll out a reorg. We decided against that. We decided we're going to use Scrum itself. So that's also what we call this team, a Scrum for Scrum team. In today's terms, you would have called it an eat. And there's two reasons to pick Scrum. First of all, change, organizational change is highly complex. Therefore, you want to go about it in an expect and adapt way. And what better framework do we know than Scrum to solve uh, complex adaptive problems? And then the other one was eat your own dog food, as we call it. Coincides very well with the eat, of course, or lead by example. So if you want the people to use Scrum, the best way for the executives to learn Scrum is actually to use Scrum themselves. Just like you can't learn the tango by reading up on tango, you have to dance it. So that Scrum for Scrum team was a proper Scrum team. We had all the roles. The CIO was the product owner. We had a Scrum master. We had several executives that worked on that team as uh, team members. Um, we had all the five events from Scrum, we used all those, and of course also the artifacts. Most importantly, the product backlog. And the product backlog consisted of proper stories. We made a big, big deal of the, out of that, phrasing every requirement that came in for organizational change as a proper uh, story, so we could flesh out the why do you want to do that and get out, get away with house. The story I'm going to talk about here is about the Scrum team that had grown in size, people were, had been added over time to the team, and they said, like, communication is becoming really, really slow and cumbersome, we need to do something, we want to split. And they came with that requirement and the expectation that the management would say, like, you guys are on that team, you guys are on that team. We turned it around and said, like, you're self-organized, you have to figure that one out yourself. We'll give you a few constraints. According to Scrum, there's team size, we want cross-functionality, and we want full-time membership but you guys figure it out yourself. So they did that in a workshop, a uh, three hours workshop, and out came actually three teams. So they split into three teams, which left us with this situation. We had the EAT and the three development teams that blasted out and along to produce this new system. After another cell split, this turned into five teams and still the EAT. Today, it looks like this, like close to 20 IT teams, the EAT, and even a meta scrum where the product owners meet only once a week, but at least that, 
in even outside of the IT now, there's become, it has created a pull for more agility, and there's even like finance teams that are starting up now. I think better than any performance indicator is actually feedback from your stakeholders. You remember the four stakeholder groups I was talking about? We got feedback from all of them, and it was all spontaneous feedback. We didn't ask for it, so they by themselves wrote emails and told us uh, this stuff. So we have feedback from developers, from managers, IT managers, and managers generally in the company, from the business, and even from customers of FCC, noting that things had changed for the better. Even business realized that Scrum has served as well as uh, one of the business owners told us. Key learnings from this is an organizational change is complex, therefore go about in an agile fashion. I recommend Scrum, you can probably do it in different ways. But do tiny deployable steps. Don't plan everything up front and do your reorg, do tiny deployable step, grow organically. And some prolog can help. If there has been some pain, it makes change easier. One more feedback I'll mention from uh, a review that happened in September. And one of the users, so not a major stakeholder or anything, but one of the users said at the end of that demo, wow, Christmas has come early this year. Thanks very much.